Now from in front of the camera, Josh Rett, Noble, is an Atlanta-based actor, a member of the Actors Union SAG AFTRA. Josh, good to have you on this afternoon. Pleasure to be on. Thank you, Jim. So the writers and actors had similar issues here that they've been striking for. One is for better compensation from streaming. Another, really on technology, you know, your image getting stolen, used in a thousand different places, or AI taking over the job of writers. Based on what you know, and granted there's a lot we don't know, but based on what you know of the deal that writers appear to have struck, does it seem that the, the, the producers have largely met your demands or willing to? Well, as I don't speak officially for sag after, but obviously as a member, I will say that the feeling amongst us, the members, is that this is a good sign. Mm. I, I feel like it's something mm. that we've been waiting for, obviously, while we've been supporting the WGA. Uh, this seems like, okay, maybe at this point we could go back to that negotiating table and figure out something that's going to work for everybody, because we all want to work. That, that's all anyone yeah. wants to do. We just want to be fairly paid yeah. and to work. <laughs> Can, can you tell us how, just so folks at home understand, because, you know, terms like AI get thrown around about everything that you talk about these days, but can you explain how AI technology has impacted your work, compensation, and your colleagues? Like, well, what's the real worry here? I think one of the biggest worries is, especially with background actors, this was mentioned during negotiations in the past, is scanning our likeness and then reusing you in perpetuity, which obviously means forever, and being paid once. And, and that is something that seems completely outrageous to me. Um, and I think one of the other big misconceptions about the strike itself is that all the actors that you see on your television screen at the movie theater, they were all millionaires and were just really hungry for more money. And that may be the case for the 1%, but for everyone else like me and so many other middle class actors, we just want to work, we want to make a living wage, and we want to make enough to have health insurance. Yeah. You know, that's it. And we don't yeah. want the art to be lost by artificial intelligence because the art is human. You know, it's us, it's interaction, it's connection. And that to me is a scary concept where it's suddenly no longer human and it's yeah. no longer real. You know, the, the image piece, I, I've heard about this, is, you know, you do one spot, then all of a sudden you, you get calls saying, hey, I saw you in a video game. What was your face doing you know, in the back of the crowd? It's a real thing. It's happening yes. right now. Um, you're a TV actor. I think we have a clip of you from the show Monarch. Um, another issue here, right, and we're going to play it. that you're sick. That's why you're not performing. She said no more questions. That you've got cancer. That you're even beyond the doctor's help. No, I'm saying no more questions. Wow, you took a punch for being a reporter, man. I, you know, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I can't stand close to you at events like that. Um, on, on the streaming issue, see, that's another one, right? Because if everybody at home watching right now, they're like, oh yeah, I'm streaming, and I, I'll bet you the actors, they must be making out great from all these new shows and so on. But, but tell me what the reality is. The reality is that so much of the art that's being consumed by the consumer is now streaming. So we, it's Netflix, it's Hulu, it's Tubi. Now, if I have a show that airs on, let's say, NBC, Fox, et cetera, we know what those residuals are going to be because they can track how many times it's re-aired, et cetera. We are still with SAG-AFTRA on, an, honestly, an ancient contract for streaming um, that hasn't really changed over the last decade. And because of that, we don't know how many times something is being watched or streamed that we're on, and the compensation is not equaling the amount of people consuming that product. Yeah. And that's all they want. It's just, it's literally just wanting to be paid for your work. The same with the writers. It's, it seems very elementary when you get down to it, but that's it. It's just yeah. fair wages um, yeah. and equal pay. <laughs> In 2023, we're still saying that equal pay, equal pay. No, I get it. No, my producers give a story of someone who had a small part on the office gets paid more from that than a major part on streaming, in part because of residuals. Josh Rett Noble, we wish you good luck. Hope you and uh, your union come to settlement too as well. Thank you so much, and thank you for shedding light on what we're going through. We appreciate it. Happy to. Rihanna.